Hey, it's Court Foot. Uh, it's freezing out here yet again. Uh, I've got to get a different location. It's snowing. We lost power for about an hour and a half. <laughs> so today's just not a good day for getting a video accomplished. Um, the day job, got a pretty big project I'm working on. So that's kind of eating up a little bit of my time. And by a little bit, I mean a lot, a bit. Anyway, so which brings me to my next point. One of the great tools that I use sometimes in Adobe Illustrator is the spray tool. It's one of those little hidden gems that if you don't know it's there, I'm going to show you where it's at. I'm going to show you how to use it. We're not going to get super complicated because in my experience, you're using a symbol and using that symbol to spray onto something. So if you make little beard hairs or, or a swarm of little bugs or whatever, you can use the tool to create it's kind of random looking textures and it's really great. It's a time saver. Uh, I'm going to walk through some of the basic functions of some of the tools like the scale tool, the scrunch tool, the rotation tool. There's a bunch of them. There's a couple other ones that I don't really use, so I'm not going to even really go over those. But uh, hopefully you enjoy this. I'm going to create a character really quick. We're going to time lapse that and then we're going to jump into real time and I'm going to talk about the tool. Uh, it won't be a super long video, but hopefully it's a useful video. So let's go do this somewhere warm. sprayer tool shift s so here we have the palette for that you have the sh simple shifter tool the scruncher tool the sizer tool and the rotation tool and they do exactly what they say they do or how they're named well the spinner tool you spin the items we're going to create a graphic and then we're going to drop it into the symbol library once it's in there you can actually double click on that symbol and edit it at any time which is really nice I've made a single line, so I'm going to be doing chin stubble. I'm also doing a second variation here. This is a cluster of little stubbles. Now, that has juices. I prefer to use the single hair only because it's less memory intensive and it's also easier to control. So when I drag my stuff into the um, symbols library, 
I try to normally, if I'm not in a hurry, name them so that I'm not screwed later on when I have like 14 symbols in there and I don't know what they, which one is exactly. Okay, so I went and grabbed my sprayer tool. I have my radius set. I'm going to shorten or make the radius a little bit smaller. The bigger it is, the bigger an area it hits. Okay, so I'm going to lay down the symbol. Now, if you notice there's a box around it that just says that it's one contained thing. I can come back at any time and add more spray to it. Now here I'm rotating it with the spinner tool. That gives me more of a, a random feel to it, which is cool. And then that was the, I think the scruncher tool, kind of scrunching it up a little bit. There's a nice little trick. If you hold down the option key and drag, it'll do the opposite. So if I'm scrunching it, hold down the option and drag, it'll expand it. Same thing with the sizer tool. Um, if you hold down option, it makes it bigger or smaller. If you don't hold down the option, it makes it larger. Yeah, by default, it makes it larger. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so here I sprayed the cluster of hairs. And you notice the issue right away is it's kind of like a moray pattern type thing. It's a little too uniform. It looks, it looks like symbols. I want it to look like little hairs. So I can go in and I can spin them a little bit. I can size them, scrunch them, things like that. Um, yeah, I'm not really happy with that. There's times I'll use a cluster like that for certain areas, but for this one, it's not really working for me. So what I'll do is I'll go back and, um, use the single hair. My hair, I'm scrunching in a little bit. It's starting to look not too, too bad. And what I'll tend to do is I'll take that layer. I'll turn that layer off because I mean, I might come back to a layer and be like, ah, I can make it work. But it's a lot of messing around back and forth. It is a time saver, but it can also be a time suck because you can get locked into just changing stuff all the time and trying to plus it and make it perfect. The point of this tutorial is to be able to, to bang something out really quickly. Okay, so here I've double clicked on the symbol in the symbols library and now I can go into there and I can move stuff around. I can change colors. I could change the stroke weight, whatever, which is super cool. That means that it's not, it's, it's not destructive. So I'm changing the color here and I go to save it and get out of it. And the magic spinning rainbow ball. So this brings me to my next point. If your piece is really complex, if you do any kind of changing to it and you've sprayed like a thousand symbols, just remember that if you do make a change, it's gotta go and calculate that for the thousand symbols. So it's, it's a, it sucks. Keep it simple. Like if you were to make little bees or whatever, honey bees, and spray them, depending on how detailed the um, illustration is, will kill your machine. At least my laptop can't handle it. So I went back to the single hair. Notice that it's a square, it's still editable. I went and grabbed my spray tool and I'm gonna spray. It's adding it to that initial block. See the, the blue bo box just expanded around it. That's telling me it's all one shape and kind of building in the hairs along the form of the chin. This dude's got a chin like Garrett Scott. Yeah, I'm calling you out, Garrett. Uh, Garrett is a super talented um, illustrator and he's got a YouTube channel too, so you should check it out. I will have a link in the comments. Yeah, check his stuff out, it's really cool. All right, so I'm shifting, moving. <clears throat> Like I said, you can spend hours doing this with the caveat that you're trying to save time, but you gotta get it to look right. Okay, here I'm gonna grab the shifter tool because I gotta move some of those hairs down. Can you hear the rain out there? There's rain and there's a water heater making all kinds of popping noises. Oh yeah, always name your layers. I name this layer Hair 01, and then I'll have Hair 02. Sometimes if I'm doing something like this, I'll have like 10 layers of hair. Cause you, it's always just a finesse thing to see what you like and what you don't like. Okay, I'm spraying more hairs in there. Now, what I've done is made a new layer with a new collection of symbols. Because I'm happy with the first one that I did, I don't wanna mess that up. Cause if you have a, a set that you've sprayed out, it's kind of a contained box of symbols. Every time you add to it, whatever you add to it, it, it affects and inter interacts with, with what's already there. So if you're really happy with, with what you first have, 
I'm stuttering because it's so cold out here, I'm sorry. But if you're happy with what you first have, put that on a layer, lock it, start a new layer, and paint on top of that. It just saves you time. Okay. Hey, thank you for watching this week. Uh, we're gonna wrap this one up and call it done. Uh, the spare tool's a lot of fun to use. Uh, it's a quick, easy way to get textures such as beard stubble, or swarms, or what swarms? Swarms. Just lots of little stuff with a random effect to it. Uh, try it out, mess around with it, learn something new that's hidden and tucked away inside an illustrator. You might hate it, you might really dig it. So um, I'll see you again next week. Um, once again, I have no idea what we're gonna be doing, but we'll do something. Just gotta keep this going, keep the momentum up. Again, thanks for watching. See you next week.